welcome back. We are so excited for today's subject. We are talking all about <gasps> boys and relationships. Yes, it's a good one. And we wanted to talk about this one just because it is um, a really big part of college for most people, whether mm -hmm. it's um, trying to be confident in your singleness or it's striving to find a husband or it is being in a relationship, mm -hmm. just all the things. So we really wanted to talk through this. Um, when we first um, started brainstorming about this subject, Mac and I both were like, okay, well we got to tell everybody to just don't waste time in relationships. Don't worry about it. Not it worth doesn't it. matter. It's, God has better things for you. But in reality, um, even if we told you that to not worry about it, you're still gonna worry about it. And yeah. so we <laughs> because we worried about because it. we totally worried yeah. about it. And I think right now at this stage in our life, um, we probably don't as much because we've gained confidence in like who God created us to be. And so I think that's like the first step here is um, I think oftentimes when we're young we try to get into like relationships we put so much value into that because we're afraid we're never gonna find it yeah. but then you but then you get to a certain age and you realize like that you just are because you recognize like your value and your character and your personality and you're like oh I know I'm gonna find that and it's just gonna be in God's like perfect timing and so we really want to encourage you guys in that at this place and like first and foremost like recognize like and or start to find and see like your value first and your yeah. confidence first because things will follow from that but also relationships are totally great and you can meet somebody really awesome in college and so um yeah that's awesome too we actually they're probably wondering what our dating life was like in college yes let's tell them well Mac was very single i was single all the way throughout college never dated anybody i you know had some crushes, had some guys I hung Did out with. Did you struggle with them? Yeah, it was hard. I remember a lot of times being like, why God? Like, why do other people find like this awesome boyfriend and people are getting married and engaged and like, why hasn't it happened for me? Um, but obviously I can look back now and I'm just so thankful because it really allowed me to focus on other things. And um, like even my sister, so my sister dated somebody all throughout college, got married, and um, now she calls me and tells me, and she's like, I'm struggling with like this part of my life. I didn't get to really pursue like my purpose and my passion. Mm -hmm. And I over here got to pursue all my purposes and passions, um, but I'm still not married, but I'm so thankful for that journey and that path. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what it looked like for me. Totally, totally. And I um, actually dated somebody all the all way all through the way. college. Yeah, I met my boyfriend like during freshman orientation, like classic, very beginning <laughs> of school. And we were together the whole way through and we actually broke up um, after college. Um, but I will say it was like awesome. Like Joe, he was like this awesome guy and um, I still was able to pursue so many things for myself and so many things the Lord was calling me to and if we can tell you anything in this whether you're gonna be single or you're gonna be dating like that's like the number one priority like college is meant to like pursue like the things God is placing on your hearts and like your passions and you can do that in or out of a relationship if you're in a relationship it's got to be a healthy relationship somebody that is going to support you encourage you that you can spend so much time apart and you still are there for each other and have faith in each other and trust in each other or you're just single and get to do like all the awesome things as well so either way pursuing your passions is first and foremost yeah, yeah. So we have three questions for you to think about and to ask yourself today. And I think it's cool because we came from different perspectives. So whatever uh, perspective you're coming from, hopefully these questions will still speak to you as well. So the first question is really thinking about what is God's best for me in this situation? Um, I know for me, there were so many moments where I was like, Lord, why haven't you brought this person into my life? You brought them into everybody else's life. But I realized as I sat there and I thought, and I thought about, God, what is it, what is the best? Like, what is your best, brightest plan that you have for me? And really, it was me 
just pursuing Him. And I think God knows my heart and knows that I'm pretty an all-in kind of person. Like if I decide to do something, I'm like a thousand and fifty percent into it. Um, and so it was really cool because all during college, I had the time to be a thousand and fifty percent into my walk with Jesus and to the places of ministry that He was calling me to. And um, that's what God's best for me looked like in college. So ask yourself that question. Um, maybe you're currently in a relationship. Ask yourself, what's God's best for me in this? Like, is this relationship fostering God's purpose or is it distracting from it? Or maybe you are so fixated on finding a boyfriend um, that you're missing God's best, that you're just missing out on it. Or maybe you want to get married tomorrow and you're so fixated on that that you're missing out on God's best for you. So just constantly be asking yourself that question no matter what your relationship status is. God, what is the best that you have for me in this moment and how can I chase after that and pursue that rather than fixating on pursuing a relationship? Yeah, that's so, so good. Yeah, God's best. God always has something like so good. And if you're questioning if it's his best, that is not his best. He has yeah. something better. And so that's a really good question to mm -hmm. ask. Um, the second question we want to ask you is how much time are you putting towards finding relationships? Mm -hmm. um, and like we said, it's not that bad to have relationships, but don't make that a priority because yeah. it just shouldn't be. Your time in college is, like we were saying, it's meant for you. It's meant for you to pursue these things. There's so much opportunity and just like girlfriends and relationships and things mm -hmm. like that. So ask yourself that question, like honestly, and this time might not be spent like the one, the time actually like on dates or whatever. It might just be like the time that you spend getting ready for, for, boys or maybe it's yeah. the time you manipulating situations so that you can meet somebody or whatever it is just look at your time like how are you spending it are you spending it well yeah so good and then the third question is um, how are you stewarding the relationships that God has already given you maybe it's friendships maybe it's relationships with your parents with your roommates with your sweet mates um, maybe it, it's a guy friend that you really enjoy spending time with, but are you stewarding those well? Are you investing in those or are you obsessing over this one day relationship that's not even in your life right now? Um, spend the time on your relationship with the Lord. There's a quote from um, Andy Stanley that says, um, I think it's be the be the person that the person you're looking for is looking for. So spend time working on yourself and um, be an amazing friend, be an amazing daughter, be an amazing roommate, be an amazing child of God. Focus on that, and I know we all hate it, but the relationship side, it'll come in it, in the right time. It'll yeah. come in God's time. Um, everybody always says it comes when you least expect it, and I kind of believe that. I believe that because when we take our eyes off of this thing we want, we allow God to move so much more, and we give Him this space to change our heart and to pursue other things. And so I think it's just asking yourself the question, like, where are my eyes fixated? Are they fixated on this future one day, someday, husband, relationship, dream, Pinterest wedding? Or are they fixated on Jesus and where he's calling me and where he's leading me? So those are uh, just important questions to ask yourself. Yes, so good. And lastly, just because we are so obsessed with delight, we want to give you a really good resource that we actually really love because I know this conversation can go on and on and on. Uh -huh. and it's hard to gain a lot of confidence. So many in. different perspectives. So many. And so we have a book. It's called For the Girl. And it's all about dating and relationships. So check it out. It has daily devotionals and really sweet stories from people in all different places of life for the girl who's struggling with her singleness, for the girl who's in a long distance relationship, for the girl who has dealt with sexual sin, for the girl, um, so many for the girls. So read that. Anyways, we hope you're having the best time back at school. We will talk soon.